Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general daily message for Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So, whomever this is meant for, what I did was I pulled a 10 card spread, five above, five below. I did clarify uh, two cards here uh, in regards to one each, as well as an outcome and three clarifiers, just to see where it was going. Okay, so let's get started. Kind of similar energies in regards to the twin flame reading that I just uh, recorded. Uh, you may want to check that out if you are dealing with a twin flame, uh, if you have the time as well. So, in regards regards to whomever this is meant for, you have the devil card. So the devil card is toxicity, okay? So it's kind of like, I always take notice to what they're pointing at, looking at the hand. is kind of like, you know, it, something came to a completion, a close here. I clarified it with the Knight of Pentacles. So long time in regards to the Pentacle energy, which is that balance, okay? And I feel that somebody's done with that mental anguish. That's what I'm feeling here. I'm going to skip the next card and I'll explain why later. But the card right after that is the five of swords. Fives are known for that change in regards to the sword energy, which is your thoughts. Mentally anguish, which direction do I go? Okay. You don't want to deal with this toxicity of the mind anymore of that loss of balance in your life again. Okay. Because of that night, that night is that slow pace in regards to the pentacle, which is that balance. Okay. Look at this. The five of, of swords is literally turned looking at that ace of pentacles. So this tells me is that there's actually two different energies is what I'm picking up. That's why I mean it's kind of like a twin flamish energy here. The five is literally turned looking at that ace of pentacles. So it's kind of like, what do I do? You know, I'm tired. It's gone toxic. I haven't had my balance for quite some time. I'm really tired of going back going back and forth in my in my mind here. And I would like a new start of balance in my life, okay? That's good, okay? That's what you wanna do, all right? This is your energy for the fem, uh, the feminine energy is what I'm feeling. There's two, there's definitely two energies here present. Now you could be a fire sign or you could be dealing with a fire sign regardless. Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, or Sag here is literally turned looking, this is twin flame, at the emperor, this dude, popped out like twice in the twin flame reading. So he is very active, all right? These two people are literally turned looking at each other. His eyes, he's standing firm, which is that stubbornness, you know. It is an Aries, it's a very controlling energy as well, just throwing that out there. But it's kind of like the, the dude part of this relationship is literally turned looking at this queen, this queen is turned looking. Very fiery energy between the two, all right? So it's kind of like, the, the feminine energy is what I'm feeling here in this relationship is kind of like, when are you coming about, you know? Meanwhile, back on the ranch, the emperor, the male energy here, clarified with the nine of cups. They know what they want, you know? They know that they want to wish fulfillment here in regards to their partner here, okay? I feel that there's definitely going to be a change with the death card here, literally trotting on over with the lover's card. Now, you could be or you could be dealing with a Gemini as well, but regardless, there's going to be a change in regards to a decision made in regards to love, okay? That decision is basically with the Page of Cups here. The Page of Cups is known for that communication in regards to the cup energy, which is love. The energy of this dude is literally turned. So it's kind of like there's going to be a change, basically, in regards to a relationship to offer that cup of love. Uh, there's work going to be put into this relationship with the Eight of Pentacles, literally turn looking at that Ace of Swords. So there's going to be a new beginning in regards to truth, clarity, communication, putting work back into it. All right. Here's the outcome. After a lot of heartbreak, which is, you know, typical in regards to a twin flame or a relationship that you want to take it more seriously, you want to take that next step. Three of Swords is known for that heartbreak in order to get to that next step in this relationship, but it's been rough, you know? Uh, the Nine of Swords is known for that nightmare stage. It's sword energy. It's, it's you know, mental entrapment. It's stressful. But the energy of this is turned to the star here. So I first message first. The star is known for that wish fulfillment. Yeah, it's been heartbreaking, okay? To be able to take that next step. This is part of that twin flame as well, I feel. But they're, they're stressed out. But look, his energy is literally turned. Star card is also known for healing. So this is the gist, 
all right? What I'm feeling here is that in regards to whoever this is meant for, they've been so stressed out wanting to finally say, you know, enough is enough, all right? My dad used to say that, enough is enough. Not feeling the balance in your life for quite some time, almost turning, not almost, turning toxic, okay? Somebody now is, uh, has been looking at the option of saying, Psh, you know, enough already with my thoughts, with that mental anguish. I'm going to regain my balance, okay? And it's kind of like with this Queen of Wands literally turned looking at that Emperor. She's kind of like standing firm. The Wand energy is a very determined, very powerful energy here, okay? Literally saying, what you waiting for, son? You know, meanwhile, the Emperor is kind of like, Mm-hmm. I have this wish fulfillment. Things are going to change. The emperor's going to make that change, okay? Make that decision, offer that cup of love, put in the work, and communicate again, all right? I feel that they want to fix things. That's what I feel. After a very trying time, meanwhile, everybody, more so the feminine energy here, is trying to heal themselves, okay, after quite a bit of heartbreak, I feel with the outcome here, there was a lot of heartbreak in order to take this next step. Somebody was stressing out, but now the situation is going to heal because I feel that that male energy of the emperor, now it can go either way because it's a general read, is now going to speak this truth and get their wish fulfillment. But definitely going to have a, a change in regards to a decision to offer that cup of love, to put in this work and have that communication again. It's kind of wild, too, because I always say, take that time of separation and work on you. And that's what I'm seeing here. I feel that uh, regardless if it's feminine or what have you, I'm feeling more feminine here with that Queen of Wands here. But regardless, it's kind of like, you know what? As soon as I got my act together and ended this mental anguish of this long time journey of not feeling quite balanced in this relationship, that's when you decide to come back and decide. That's what I'm feeling here, to come that they're going to come back, offer that cup of love, and put in that work. And that's what I have for whomever this is meant for. I hope that this helps, guys. Please subscribe to my channel as well as clicking that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies, monthlies, dailies, and twin flames. You guys rock. Stay strong, and I'll talk to you soon.